Hello, good afternoon, friends. Today uh, we discuss the last point of asymmetric synthesis, that is, the proline catalyzed asymmetric reactions. Now, the proline is used as a catalyst for the aldol condensation reactions, and we get the uh, stereoselective isomers, or that stereoselective isomers with uh, more the enantiomeric excess product is obtained by using the S proline or by using the L proline as a catalyst. So let's see the aldol reaction by using the proline catalyst. Aldol condensation reaction. Aldol condensation by using the proline catalyst. So let's see the example. The acetone react with aldehyde in presence of catalyst uh, S proline. So in presence of S proline, it gives this product as a major product by uh, seventy six percent. Enantiomeric excess product is obtained in the S proline in presence of DMSO and acetone as a solvent in the ratio of 4 S to 1 uh, proportion. Okay, so let's see the how the uh, product is obtained as a major product. The <coughs> S proline form the enamine. So the reactions occur through the formation of enamine and this enamine of this ketone with S proline and attack on this carbon and formation of such a type of enamine formation take place by the O O H by the S proline and this enamine react with this aldehyde through the six member transition state where R group is present at the pseudo equatorial position. So let's see the mechanism through the six member transition state. So here is R group. C H O double bond there is M E and C double bond O So this is the six member transition state. This is the enamine intermediate and that enamine intermediate attack on carbonyl through this six member transition state where this R group is present at pseudo equatorial position. Then the lone pair, the localized here, the double bond attack on carbonyl, it takes the proton. So there is formation of OH. And on hydrolysis, it forms the R. Now see here, in this case, this OH is present above the plane, and therefore this OH is present above the plane, and then this enamine undergo see the C O H this one formation and C O double one O H 
points that is breaking of this bond there is formation of this bond and there is this now if this r group is present at the axial position then there is a one three that axial interaction that means there is a crowding or steric hindrance due to one three that axial interaction if this r group is present at this axial position and due to this methyl and this r group there is a 13 diaxial interactions or repulsions and therefore this uh, intermediate with r group at axial is not favored so r group must be present at the pseudo equatorial position that is the favored transition state favored transition state and this transition state is a re phase transition state and therefore this product is obtained now see here this oh is present above and r and this methyl group are in the plane therefore when this on hydrolysis there is again formation of carbonyl group so see here the bond o o h and r this product by hydrolysis is formed from this transition From this transition, this product is formed, and on hydrolysis, this product is the major one with 76 percent EEP. Now let's see another type of example where R group is different. Where are nitro, benzaldehyde, and acetone? Where are nitro? benzaldehyde and acetal in presence of again s proline and dmso and acetone as a solvent in the proportion of again 4s to 1 acetone 4s to 1 proportion 68% e is obtained with 96% e e so let's see the uh, transition state here again There is C double bond O H and the para nitro benzene. We have this benzene para nitro benzene ring present at the pseudo equatorial position. And there is methyl group. This is a S proline C double bond O O H and now through this six member transition state again the oxygen takes the proton there is delocalization this bond attack on the carbonyl there is protonation of carbonyl and to form the N O two O H methyl and C double bond O O minus yeah E and H. Again, there is less interaction between methyl and hydrogen as compared to this para nitro and methyl one three that axial interactions. And on the hydrolysis, on hydrolysis, this form the. This product as a major product is formed by this. Okay, so let's see one more example: intramolecular aldol condensation reaction by using again the proline as a catalyst, and there is also a stereosilicate product is obtained. Let's see the example. I remember a ring, carbonyl. There is also carbonyl, and there is a methyl group present above the plane on cyclopentane diene. Now this in presence of L proline as a catalyst, three mole per cent catalyst is used, and here again. There is a cyclization. There is formation of enamine 
and this kinyamide. Now let's see which type of kinyamide is formed. C double bond O, C double bond O with E and here is C O O H. So it is an L proline. So this C O O H present below the plane S proline. This C O H will be present above the plane for this C O H present below the plane. Now there is a cyclization this lone pair attack on carbony to form the O minus O minus taking proton and there is formation of OH. So there is a formation of N one, two, three, four, six membrane. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 member ring. And to this 6 member ring from this carbon attached to this carbon, there is formation of OH. And here is 5 member ring. 5 member ring, and there is a methyl group present above the plane, and there is a carbon ring, there is a double bond positive charge and which on hydrolysis which on hydrolysis gives the two cyclic compound like this there is methyl group there is OH there is carbonyl and there is uh, carbonyl of this starting material which on hydrolysis is formed with double bond so there is double bond CH2, CH2 right, this is the methyl group CH3 now this is methyl group this is carbonyl then CH2, CH2 and at this position now on heating there is loss of water molecules and formation of conjugated Keto C double bond O C H V. So this product is the major product obtained during these reactions. Okay, let's see more example of this catalyst. That is aldol condensation, intramolecular aldol condensation C H O. CHO again in presence of L chlorine 10 mole per cent L proline and in the CH3CN acetonitrite as a solvent then again it undergoes cyclization there is enol formation enamine formation and enamine attack on the carbonyl so that there is formation of CHO and the OH group present above the plane. So this stereoselective stereoselective enantiomers is obtained with 79% enantiomeric action. Enamine is formed and this enamine attack on the carbonyl and to form some type of product on hydrolysis. So with 79% EE is okay. Okay, let's stop here. Thank you.